Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to demonstrate how we can use Windows PowerShell to monitor events that might happen either locally or on remote computers. For example, you might want to know when something happens, like a key service changing or a specific process stopping. In this demonstration, I'm logged on to a Windows 7 desktop, but I want to watch when a critical process is terminated on another computer. That will be the event. For the sake of this demo demonstration, I'll use Windows Calculator as my critical process. In PowerShell, we can use a number of event-related commandlets, as you can see here. Today, I'm going to demonstrate using register WMI event. So first of all, let's verify that the process is running on my remote computer. I'll do this with get process. And I can see that the process is, in fact, running. I have a script here which encapsulates the process of creating this WMI event subscription using register WMI event. This requires several pieces. First, it requires a query. I'm going to select everything from the Win32 process stop trace class where the process name property equals the value of the process name. In this case, it's going to be calc.exe. I'm going to execute this on a remote computer, again specified by, by a parameter which has a default value of server 1. And when this event fires, I'm going to execute the action defined in this action script block. The action script block is going to define a line of text with process information and write it to a log file. So let's go ahead and run this script. All right, there we go. The background job you see is for the action script block that will execute once the event is fired. And that second block of text you see is the actual event sub subscription. So now PowerShell is waiting for calculator to terminate. And when it does, the event is fired and the event subscriber will detect it. So let's kill the calculator process. I'm going to do this using task kill in the CMD shell on server one. So in a moment, the event should fire. If I look at get job, I can see that it's running, which means that the script block has taken off. And if I look at my process log, I can see that it has been created. And if I look at the contents, there is the record of the event recorded for me. Now this monitoring will continue for as long as this PowerShell session is running. Now event monitoring with PowerShell, the task scheduler or WebM test uh, is great for short-term troubleshooting and monitoring, although I think for long-term and more ongoing scenarios you'll get more from an appropriate third-party solution. I hope you found this helpful and I thank you for your time.